Welcome to Wild at Heart Berlin, where Getting Away with Treason is playing a free show tonight. Uh, for starters, guys, uh, could you tell me a bit uh, who and what is your band? Um, Mike. The Mike, yeah. Um, yeah, we try to play some melodic hardcore um, and to pick some old school style, uh, old school style from the days before and to give it some fresh new look. <laughs> And uh, yeah, mix it with some politic uh, lyrics and uh, try to reach the people with this. Okay, there's not a lot of uh, information available about you guys. Even your names are listed as uh, C, M, N and P. <laughs> yeah, so uh, why is that? If we just try to make it more about uh, the music more than anything else, instead of making about the people, you know, we kind of want it to be more than just what we are, you know, individually. We're also important aspects of the band, but of course it's more about the music than it is about, you know, we're not trying to be rock stars or anything. We're just trying to put our music out, put our message out, you know, not make it about us. Okay, and uh, I'm assuming that you are a new band, right? Fresh new band? Um, yeah, I think we play together like um, like two years. And um, but our first shows we played la we played last year, and um, yeah, it's just we are working on our first record, and so we try to get forward slowly, but <laughs> try to work out. Okay, uh, how hard is it for new bands at the moment? Uh, let's say, for example, uh, in Berlin. Mm -hmm. Um, well, it's definitely easier than a lot of other places in the world. Um, specifically, me, I, I grew up in Boston. <coughs> And of course, you know, I was trying to do music stuff there, but of course, uh, venues get shut down every year, you know what I mean? Like, it just, it's constant. Uh, and then even before here, I was living in New York, trying to do the same thing, play music. Um, but of course, like everyone's working 40 to 60 hours a week, you know, like no time to actually play music. Venues just getting absolutely cut, you know, like there's, there's really no either protection or love i don't know like people just really aren't putting everything into the music you know that like you would expect from you know back in the 90s it seemed a little easier for bands to survive and stuff and even now like the reason our uh recording process is taking a lot longer is just because we're we're constantly working you know like one of our bandmates works overnights you know one is a is his own teacher you know i work nights he works mornings like Everyone just has their own schedule, and we it, we can really only find one day a week, pretty much, to all meet together. So it just I feel like it kind of like stunts uh, any further growth. But um, but luckily in Berlin specifically, uh, it's definitely a lot easier than a lot of other places. We found a studio that we can afford, you know, <clears throat> and yeah, I mean we still all have that time, and we can play shows and stuff. And there's definitely a lot of decent venues. <clears throat> in clubs that we can play at, which is great. Okay, uh, how international exactly is the band? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Phil and Miguel are both from Germany, from... Uh, uh, from, from the Ruhr area, nice place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, uh, from Bremen. And then um, we have Craig from Scotland. <laughs> and then, yeah, I'm from Boston. So, I mean... Yeah, two Germans, one from the UK, one from America. Okay, uh, you already touched on this, but uh, how is the scene here in Berlin then? Um, <coughs> uh, I think it's a, a cool, constantly existing scene, and you have a few bands um, which are playing since years, and you have also some bands um, showing up in the last years. And yeah, what you said, you can find you can find some venues to play. But a lot of venues are shutting down, so perhaps some bands are moving out of Berlin to play more places there. But um, the scene is quite interesting. I think the melodic hardcore and more old school hardcore scene is a little bit floating away, but um, there are still some cool bands to play and to see. Yeah. Uh, you already mentioned the ideology. It seems to be important to the band. So uh, what is the ideology <laughs> or message that you want to convey? Um, we're kind of all over the place at the moment, but it's more of just like, uh, we're just trying to put our, um, not very like specifically our ideas, but more of just like, uh, 
decent morally human beings you know kind of idea like um it's nothing like in your face you know if you don't do what we do you know we hate you it's more of like we're just trying to put it out there like there's a lot of uh bad things happening you know like all over the world and we just want to bring some light to it whether it's not necessarily like each individual but more of like uh whether it's like political mindsets whether it's um people getting brainwashed you know by by media you know or decent um political um yeah even more brainwashing you know it's it's just like we're just trying to kind of be that like other voice saying like okay what is happening isn't necessarily the only thing that has to happen you know and there's uh some back and forth between um like almost like the devil and angel on your shoulder you know one person telling you like oh the world you know everything is terrible you know like hate immigrants blah 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 you know and we're just trying to be that other voice on the shoulder just saying like you know we're all human beings you know like we all need to stick in this together you know and that's about it yeah that's a very <laughs> global very good answer yeah <laughs> Okay, till the bitter end. But uh, okay, let's talk a bit about lives. Uh, how important are live performances for you guys? Um, yeah, I think it's the best way to um, give some message to the people, and um, for sure, if you bring the people to dance, to move, and uh, to give it a listen, um, you can move something in their minds and hearts. And uh, for us, the live performance is very important to um, get connected to the people. Um, Again, for sure, to to um, um, present our music and uh, get some um, get some people more to know us, and for sure, we can bring the message and our music on the internet or on CDs, and um, yeah, for us, I think it's m it's more important to play live than um, to to put some records out. It's yeah, like a feeling or yeah. uh, something. In our heart, we like to move, we like to jump, we like to uh, yeah, shout it out, um, I think. Okay, and uh, what kind of future plans and hopes do you have for the band? Because it sounds like it's not all about beer and uh, party. <laughs> yeah, uh, those are kind of on the back burner a little bit. Um, but yeah, I mean, like he said, we're recording right now. We're um, just trying to put out the music that we've been working on for the past couple years or so um just to get you know people a little bit just to let people have a little more knowledge about us um and yeah i mean we just want to play more shows we want to take it you know just past germany we've played shows in uh in west germany as well as here in berlin um but we want to play more you know and we just we want to get in touch with other bands that are doing you know similar things and uh whether they have similar political mindsets or not, we just want to play music, have fun, you know, and do it our way. Okay, you have anything to add? Um, no. no. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, thank you guys so much and uh, break a leg tonight. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs>